what's up guys? Justin Lewis again. So I'm just doing the, gonna show you guys my new uh, addition to the fucking Volvo collection that I got going here. So it's a nine, 1994 940 Turbo. Um, this one, obviously all the US and Canada 940s came automatic transmission. So this one we actually took an M46 tranny from a 740 turbo and we swapped that in so I had to get like the LH 2.4 manual flywheel and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, like it's, you know, mildly modded. Um, it's my daily right now, but, um, you know, I'll show you like kind of what's under the engine and stuff. It's a really basic setup. But, uh, so for, we got, for the turbo, um, this is a 16T off of a Volvo S70. So it's a little bigger, flows a bit better, like the exhaust outlet is 2.5 inches instead of, uh, I believe, two and a quarter, which the stock turbo would have came with. Um, so this car's got actually white injectors from a Volvo S70 as well. So they're 350cc instead of 315cc uh, that the stock 940 would have came with. So we also did, obviously, just a manual boost controller here. Um, this uh, this is also chipped, so a guy on Turbo Bricks makes a chip uh, and it raises the rev limiter to 6,500 RPM instead of uh, 6,000, like the like the factory came with. So I got a catch can, <clears throat> a couple basic things. Um, I actually like cut this plate out down here, and uh, the air kind of gets scooped into there a little better. So. Yeah, for, so for suspension, actually, I just installed modified steering knuckles. Um, can't show you right now. I'm not going to turn it, but uh, probably get about 60 degrees of steering angle. So, I mean, it drifts pretty good. Um, for exhaust, it had 3 inch all the way from the turbo. So, started downpipe 2.5 inch right off the turbo, then to 3 inch. And then we did... Uh, three inch out the side so it looks pretty gangster it's kind of unique not many people do side pipes so um, now for wheels these are ion these are the wheels I put on all my Volvos but they're uh, they're I <laughs> almost dropped the camera there that's funny um, yeah these are these are ion 171 so uh, ion alloys style 171 they're you know most guys use them on 4x4s and jeeps and stuff like that but I figured they'd look kind of cool on a car with lower profile tires and you know people actually like them they look pretty gangster um, yeah for the interior let's take a little look here so yeah I did uh, obviously fully gutted the interior um, the 940s you're able to remove like the 740s about uh, you know about 400 pounds so stock this car weighs probably like you know, roughly 3200 maybe a little heavier so you can get it down to about 2800 so I mean it's not super super heavy it's not light by any means but um it's definitely you know it feels pretty nimble when you uh, the suspension is nice and stiffened up and that kind of thing I'm running just cut springs um, so it's it's IPD lowering springs that are cut in the front and then in the back it's just the stock factory springs but I also have an IPD rear sway bar in the back so it basically eliminates all body roll completely and I mean you know it's a little bit bouncy but it's really not the end of the world so this car is running I forgot to mention it's running 17 pounds of boost uh, always run 94 octane because uh, you know you don't want that detonation it's gonna fucking keep it all good so the seat I went with this is actually an Evo 4 Recaro speed seat so these are pretty rare because they got the um, you know the red plaid in the middle there that's the reason I liked this one because it's kind of funky looking so you know wide band gauge boost gauge um, I actually did explain some of this stuff I don't know if you guys may have seen the roads untraveled give that YouTube channel a check it's pretty it's pretty sweet but I uh, yeah, I actually got, he did a feature on my car on that channel, but I didn't really go into hectic detail about the whole setup, about the engine and that kind of thing. So, yeah, just a Momo adapter wheel, that kind of thing. So, um, what I, you know, what I usually do, this car looks so fucking gangster. Um, I sit back and I kind of get out of my car and then it's like, it looks so damn good that, you know, randomly my nipples will just get really hard. And, uh, so what happens when my nipples get this hard is like they start to excrete this uh, this this fluid 
And so what I've learned is actually you, um, yeah, I, I add this fluid to the gasoline and you know you need about two ounces of fluid per tank of gas but uh, it actually ups the octane to about fucking 100 and, 110 octane instead of 94 so you're so you know from with the just the 94 octane I'll run 17 pounds of boost but with the fluid from my hard nipples I'll run fucking 23 pounds of boost and still not be detonating so you know it's 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 a good plus of, <laughs> of having that <laughs> oh shit that's pretty funny um, yeah, so that MSD ignition coil, basically that's the whole setup of the car, so hope you guys like it. Here's just another shot of it right here. Of course, uh, I forgot to mention it has a welded differential, but that's a given because that's the only way to go. So, there you go. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, I know I haven't filmed a video in a really long time, probably like two months, but I'm going to start filming videos more here and there, so like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, take care. Have a good one.